Now it's over to our very own Captain Kirk of the Cafe Kitchen, <laughs> Chef Mark. What are you beaming up today? Well, I'm going to make one of my favourite Chinese recipes today, beef and black bean sauce. I love this dish. And we're also going to make some egg fried rice. You can't get better than that. We've got a beautiful rump steak here uh, and all these fresh ingredients. And we've got some chilies in there to give it a little bit of a kick. And of course, that black bean sauce as well. So I'm going to show you how to make that a little bit later. And fried rice. It's really simple. You do it all in one pan with some egg in there. It's going to be great. Now it's over to Mel. So we are in the cafe kitchen with Mark and we are cooking a well-known Chinese dish this morning, Mark, a dish that I'll pay a lot for at a restaurant. So I can make <laughs> it myself at home now, thanks to your expertise. So what are we doing? All right, so we've got beef and black bean sauce and we're going to do some fried rice as well. So Yum. really simple, an array, a beautiful array of like textured uh, ingredients yes. in there. Lots of flavours in there, really fast and we're going to do some fried rice, what we just said. Okay, nice. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it now. So pick your steak, so yes. you can use sirloin steak or we've got rump as well. Yep. Uh, so we're going to chop that up a little bit later. Nice. We're just going to go through uh, all the garnish. So we've got some baby corn. So yep. this is just out the can. So nice texture. Don't need to cook this a lot. So I'm just going to chop a little bit. I'm going to pop it all in a bowl. Okay. So just do that. I've got some uh, garlic, which I've just sliced. What's the most important thing with this dish you reckon to get right? Uh, well, not overcooking your vegetables and stuff. You okay. know, you want to you want to just soften them, but you still want the sort of texture in there. Right. So that's why you got to watch the size that you chop them into. Yeah. Just so follow Mark's lead. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. So you know, peppers. You don't want to get it too thin. You want a nice, uh, nice sort of chunk. I remember having this dish in the UK, and we used to always have it with our green peppers, which is really good. So mm. you can use it with green, green peppers, or even um, red peppers, like okay. we've got today. Oh my! Nice. A little bit of spring onion as well. Chop that. We'll get that in. And some sugar snap peas as well. Okay, good. Right, yeah. Beautiful. So these are these are great. So you've got like a little um, a little sort of tip here and a little tough bit just right. on the top of the piece. So it's a good idea to take them off. So take the tough bit out. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> it's a little bit chewy. Right, and then you can just slice it off. You know, and you can eat these raw. So these are not going to take long to cook at all. Mm, yeah. Um, a little bit of chilli, which I'm going to chop. Mm. Reminds and me of going into the garden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting there for hours eating peas. Right, okay, so what's this? Oil? Yeah, so a little bit of oil in here, and then we're going to stir fry the uh, beef first. And this pan's nice and hot, I can tell. It's really smoking. nice and hot, so you've got it smoking. So I'm just going to trim some fat off. Yep. And then some nice little strip, uh, strips like so. Okay. Does it matter which way you cut the, against the grain, or does it not matter? Uh, Against the grain. So really hot pan, you can see it's smoking. Yeah, it's smoking. And you, want it, you want it sizzling. Okay. <laughs> so it's a good idea. If you do this at home, put the fan on. So I get it in. So, it, so it's called stir frying. So you've got to stir oh, right. and fry it. If you know, you don't don't want to let it uh, sit there. I've got a bit that's stuck there. There you go. Okay. Okay. So it's a good hearty chunks. That's good. Yeah, it's a good hearty chunks. It's not going to take long to cook either. Um, we've got a nice colour on that, so you need to get the pan really hot, so you do get that caramelisation going. Yep, I can see that happening. We're going to put the uh, garlic in there now. Nice. Ginger, which we've just stripped up, yep. and a little bit of chilli, because okay. they are quite hot this time of year. Yeah, they are quite hot. We've noticed right, in the last few days. It. OK, keep stir-frying it, Mike. So just a little touch more oil. Mm -hmm. So keep it on the heat as well. OK. You don't want to lose that heat. Coming along nicely. Yeah, so get your veggies ready in a bowl so you're all ready to yeah. go. So I've got the veggies in here, a little bit of sesame oil in there. Mm -hmm. So just going to coat them, making like a little little quick marinade over the veggies. Beef's nice and caramelised. I'm going to pop these in now as well. OK. Can you do that because I'm scared of doing it? it. <laughs> and then just keep, keep stir-frying it. Oh, your wrist action is so good. I'm getting better at that, though. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. So another couple of minutes frying, and then we're going to put the sauces in there and just finish the dish around that. We'll tip that out and then we'll make the fried rice in the same pan, so really, really quick. Brilliant, you know, this is fresh, it's flavoursome and it's a free recipe at thecafe.co.nz. <laughs> we need to finish up, uh, so this is sizzling away quite nicely here, everything's smelling good, what do we need to do to finish right, this off? Right, so we just got to finish now. So good quality black bean sauce, Yep. Um, you know, you can make it yourself, uh, you know, quite a lot of ingredients and time right. into it, you know, if someone makes it for you and it's really good, use it. Yeah, true. Yeah, um, good basically. <laughs> so black bean sauce in there, a little bit of soy sauce as well. Yep. So you can just toss that around. We're going to okay. finish it with the uh, the tops of the spring onion and some fresh coriander as well. That just goes in last minute and then we can serve it up. Mm, smelling good. Oh, so, look, you got Juicy's favourite coriander. I know, and I put extra in, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> right. Toss through, it's nice and glazed. No. 
If it gets, if it's a little bit hot, the pan, you put the sauces in, and it's a little bit dry, just add a little bit of water because okay. you've got all that flavour. Oh, nice. Right, pan back on. Yes. A little bit of sesame oil in there. Yes. You don't worry about Egg. the coriander and stuff left in there. No, it's no, all it's flavour. It's all flavour. Yeah. Yum. You're learning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, it's been about a year and a half, you'd yeah. think I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> finally. Some would say that I probably haven't. Okay, so one egg. Yeah, Mix it's all it up in. a bit. Yeah, so stir it around, get it cooked. Okay, cool. Nice. And I'll mix that So, so we're looking to well. make a beautiful, smooth omelette. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not, no, we're not. That's, oh, that's okay. what you So you're cooking it, you're breaking it up. Yep. Get some rice, so pre-cook this rice. Mm -hmm. um, you know, do this sort of an hour or so before you need it. Cook it, drain it, rinse it off, uh, spread it on a tray, put it in the fridge so it's nice and cold, it's all separated. That goes in there. And then you just want to uh, fry it so you're warming the rice, you know. You've got your eggs mixed through. Yeah. And then a little bit more soy sauce mm -hmm. in there. And it's as simple as that. I mean, nice you can put work. any ingredients you want in here or just, you know, just make this yourself. Fry some Brilliant. beef off and then put the rice in and do it. Yeah, what a fantastic accompaniment to this dish. And I love, I love fried rice. I could just have this on the side, you know, um, with any meal, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is great. And that's so quick and easy. I've never done that before. No, and that's it. And then once it's warm, ready to go, put your uh, beef on top and boom. Nice. Okay, look, this smells incredible. Give it a go at home. Let us know how you go by going to Facebook now. Jedi Master, Chef Mark, how was that beef black bean sauce <laughs> or should it be black bean force? <laughs> oh, that's oh, you like that's that? a great one. Dumb tish. <laughs> anyway. Dad joke. <laughs> Uh, so we're just plating up now. So we've got the fried rice on the plate and we'll just tip it over. Nice big portion. Oh, yes. Thank Get you. Get that on there. So the vegetables are still crunchy. You've got that beautiful black bean sauce and the meat as well is still nice and tender in the centre. And there oh. you go. One of my favourites, beef and black bean sauce. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's really delicious. OK, what are you doing tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I've got a treat for you. We're doing salt-baked rangatiki chicken. Oh, that sounds really interesting. I'll have to finish the week off nicely.